Hey guys, hope everybody is well. Uh, this is now week 10 of our spring 2020 season um, and our final Coach's Corner email for the spring season. Um, we will have more communications in the coming days and weeks as we continue to prepare for the fall season. Um, so please stay tuned. Um, we are not done just yet, but um, this would have been our final week of play with our Nestle tournament kicking off this week. Um, our final games for our travel teams on the weekend and any MTOC qualified teams would be preparing for that tournament and it's really normally a pretty exciting time uh, to cap off the year. Um, we do have some exciting news and it, I, I do feel, the club does feel, uh, that things are starting to move in a positive direction in regards to youth sports and returning to play and so we are more hopeful than ever uh, for the fall season. It appears that um, Everybody is starting to recognize the value of youth sports, and that's a good thing for us. And uh, we're hopeful, and we continue to move forward with our plans for the fall season. Um, with that being said, I hope everybody had a chance to review the email that went out Friday evening regarding our updated process and timelines for our creation process and our team selection process. Um, understanding the different nuances within each age group and within each program, there's no real one blanket statement that we can put out, but um, understanding, first and foremost, our goal is to try to be fair to all of our players, uh, try to be equitable to all of our players and the opportunities that we provide them. And when we look back on not just the missed spring season, but even the tough fall season with Triple E, uh, feels like a lifetime ago now, but it's been a tough year for our players in regards to having opportunities to play, having opportunities to develop, having opportunities to be seen. Um, and that kind of goes hand in hand with our coaches. The same can be said for them. So while we can't really say it's going to be as simple as copying and pasting rosters over from this spring to the fall, our goal is to try to do as close to that as possible. Um, the big statements are that there's not going to be a fourth grade B team for the fall or a sixth grade C team for the fall. Instead, we will hold tryouts for those teams in the fall for the spring season. Again. Uh, when we look at our players and how much they develop um, just within their own bodies and as people over six months, and then when you combine that with there's really been no play over the last six, eight months, um, we thought that instead of trying to use old information to project new information, uh, it's really hard to get it right when there is a season and there is tryouts. We're, we're not going to try to to create those whole teams right now. It just seems unfair instead. We're going to do all that we can to provide opportunities to not only those players, to all of our players in forms of ID clinics, in forms of trying to get teams practicing together more regularly, holding tryouts and creating opportunities for our players and coaches to see and be evaluated and to evaluate um, in the fall season. So again, no real blanket statement, but our goal is to try to keep teams as close together as possible, understanding that some players may drop out because of what's going on with COVID and the uncomfortable nature of returning to sport. Um, that might be a concern for some, some people. Again, things continue to trend in a very positive direction. So um, we're hopeful, we're continuing to plan and following all these guidelines for the fall, fall season. Um, so we don't anticipate too much of that, but we do expect there's going to be some concern and some late registrations and all of that. Um, combining with some some players just don't don't play in the fall for whatever reason. They have other activities and it's totally fine. So um, there's going to be some some nuance to it all. And there's going to be um, some having a massage of rosters. We still are planning to have our selection meetings um, to just essentially confirm um, rosters from this spring for the for the fall season. And that's going to be different for each age group. Again, not having um, to select a new team for, for next year's fourth grade um, and a third team for next year's sixth grade. Um, we're really just trying to confirm the rosters as is, again, with some slight adjustments for maybe some player uh, movements or not returning. Um, that's kind of our guidelines. We'll have more information on timelines, um, you know, the meeting process, if we're having the meetings, if Everybody confirms in our third grade returning for fourth grade that they want to be back and our coaches are back and um, those kids haven't had a chance to play. It might not be necessary to have the meeting, but we will reach out to all of you on that individual group by group basis. Third grade boys um, going into fourth grade will be separate information than fifth grade moving to sixth, for example. Um, 
The big one is obviously our seventh and eighth graders. Eighth graders are moving on to high school and that's exciting for them. And our sixth graders are bumping up in seventh grade. So that's a big shift. Um, we will have to do um, our due diligence to select and create these teams as best as possible. Myself and our directors on the boys and girls side will be reaching out to coaches to gauge interest on returning, um, to ask for evaluations for players, uh, because we will have to create those rosters. And again, there is going to be opportunity for the those players to um, be evaluated, for coaches to make changes after the fall season, um, and whether or not they're the leagues allow for further movement within rosters within season is yet to be determined, but we're trying to keep all these possibilities open for now and do our best to create these teams so that we can get our uniforms, so that we can get our schedules created and understand that there's going to be some flexibility come the fall. Um, more flexibility than than normal is, is sort of our hope and our goal and what we're planning for. So the link is below to the document if you didn't have a chance to, to look at it. Uh, it really lays all the timelines and all the information out um, in a very clear, concise way where you can click right to the information that is relevant to you or you could choose to read through it all um, to see how we got through the entire process. Again, it's not perfect. Uh, we're very disappointed in missing the season and not being ha able to have tryouts, uh, our players. Um, I know I have personally been sent lots of different videos and, and clips of kids playing the game in the backyard. And it's great to see them sort of getting back to their roots and taking taking the game back for themselves and just kicking the ball around. And it, it stinks that they won't have that opportunity uh, that they've been working so hard for. But we're going to do everything we can to make up for that in the fall season. And we are just very hopeful and excited to returning to play next fall. So we hope everybody... Uh, is going to return and be with us. Um, I think it will be an exciting time um, and we're looking forward to it. So if you plan to be back, if you want to coach travel, you must be registered um, by June 15th, which is creeping up just a week away. Everybody else has until July 1st. Um, and we will be selecting coaches on the 16th, uh, starting to create these teams immediately um, thereafter. Uh, with more information on selection meetings and processes for these teams going forward. Um, so keep an eye out. More information will come. This is not going to be the last you hear of me. It really be uh, a process through the rest of June and into July, even as we uh, finalize these teams, announce these teams and set plans for the fall season. So we hope everybody is, is sticking with us, is going to be back for the fall, is excited about returning to play. We're very excited about it. Um, so be well, keep an eye out on more information and thank you, thank you, thank you for everything that you guys have done um, to keep your players moving forward, to stay connected with the club, to tune into all of our information and in different ways that we've tried to move ourselves forward. Um, we think it has definitely been a learning process for all of us and we believe it's only gonna make us better um, next fall and going forward. So thanks again, more information is to come. So please stay tuned and we hope everybody stays well.